Oh, hey. Or like how Merce would say, what up, though? I promise there's a full episode on the RNC coming up, but it's not over until Thursday, so let me cook. I don't like doing reaction videos because most of the time reactions be wrong. I need to take notes, make sure I know what I'm talking about before I talk to you. I would like to break y'all off with a little good old fashioned little fact checked. Now, disclaimer, please don't read my fact checking as in any way a defense for the Democratic Party because. Oh, my God. I don't even what like what are y'all even what are y'all doing? Putting aside my opinions on what they said. <laughs> I'm addressing black folks that spoke up there a little later. Let's start with the immigration situation. Yes, there are millions and millions of people that come through our borders. Fact is, it's considerably less than it was in 2020, which means immigration's down. The vast majority of those crossing the borders are seeking asylum. The problem with the asylum situation is your case will take probably three years before you'll actually see the judge. And in the in-between time, what do you do? Well, since you probably can't answer that question, you should look up how immigration works. And since they're seeking asylum, can't go back. Wow. <laughs> that would be inhumane. Now, of these undocumented people, or just migrants for that matter, the fact is they commit far less crimes than American citizens. Matter of fact, most recent statistics says that they're 30% less likely to commit violent crimes than American citizens. It's almost like the RNC wants you to believe that all crime comes from immigrants. If there was no undocumented, there would be no crimes. Now, fact, if you were attacked by someone who was undocumented, correct, if that person was not there, they would not have attacked you. But also fact, most people that are undocumented are trying to hide from the law if they trying to not get deported. The logic would tell you that. Obviously, we're talking big national numbers. So a person's individual situation would change. Just like nationally, another fact, Crime rates are down in relation to 2020. Matter of fact, it's almost like y'all forgot about the 80s and 90s. Now that was crime. But overall, nationally, violent crimes have dropped significantly since 2020. But since no one lives nationally, you live in your own city. You see rapid drug use. You see, you know, homeless encampments. The national numbers don't really matter as much as the way you feel within your city. So the feeling of being unsafe, can't nobody argue with you about that. That's a fact. You feel unsafe in your city. But nationally, the reality is crime's down. Next thing I'd fact check is fentanyl. Apparently, people coming through the borders with backpacks full of fentanyl. It's just not true. Because, number one, if you're running from a cartel... The second you come to ask for asylum, they take all your stuff. They go through your bags. How could you smuggle that if they go take all your stuff? If you crossing the border illegally, don't you think that would be a bad business model? If you was a cartel, put it in the backpack of somebody that's probably gonna get caught? No, you can look at the FBI reports. Fentanyl comes through legal ports by American citizens. Why? Because no one checks their bags. It's not immigrants bringing fentanyl in. It's us. We're bringing it in through legal ports because no one checks our bags. So it's not so much we don't have a fentanyl problem. It's just you blaming immigrants is just not factual. Okay, carry on.